Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're watching Cowboy Bebop. So today we're jumping back into Cowboy Bebop Season 1, Episode 7. Six. Sympathy. Huh? Six. You know, you know how you say it, right? When I'm doing that. So we're jumping back into Cowboy Bebop Season 1, Episode 6. Sympathy for the Devil. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Bebopping. <laughs> oh, the Jeez. kid. The kid. Which kid? A little kid playing the harmonica. At the end. <gasps> what are they fucking operating on? Oh! They're harvesting? What's it's that blue stone. thing? <laughs> it's blue though. Whose body is that? <gasps> Never mind. Uh, bruh. No, that's not him. What? This guy's been abducted? This kid. Young prodigy, huh? Dog food, that's it. You keep your dog food in the fridge? <laughs> Stupid commercial. Don't tell me we're gonna share. Ah! Bruh! You're a hunting dog. Hunt dogs some food. We girls are different. We have to be pampered because we're delicate and refined. <laughs> As she slurps dog food. Delicate and refined. Three million wool on reward. Who's this now? I'll just have the boys get it for me then. Hmm. I thought you liked jazz. Don't be dense. I started wheeling the blues when the doctor whacked my bottom on the day I was born. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. I'm going in from the right. You take the left side. Lard boy's in the way. Hmm? Oh. Mm -mm. That's fatty. Kind of looks like Cacti Jim Duggan a bit. Well, well, when the hell did okay. you go in? How about you? You're looking pretty cheery. I had no idea you were a fan of the blues, Fatty. You kidding me? I listened to the blues the when I was still in my around. father's sack. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. It looks like Scar from the back. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. He does look like Scar. Ishvalian. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> there a bounty on the other night? Shit just got serious. Ooh! Give it back now! Which one of them did that? That's exactly what I was gonna ask. Oh, he's gonna catch him. You better not miss your freaking bounty. Bounty. You guys can't catch a break. Ooh. Even Einstein can't eat. Yo. The dog eat the hug world. <laughs> Jesus. Is he gone? Okay, he's there. Ooh, wow. He has a bullet. He's dead already, babe. Great. You die and I lose the reward. Yeah, you don't, see? Don't be fooled by him. Who's he? Help him. The stone. Uh, wait! Bruh. Three million gone. Back to bell peppers and no beef. Ah, uh, bruh, I hope they don't get framed. He's already on the ship. This may be worth a hefty sum. So what do you want to do with it? Give me that. Hmm. This thing is going to pay for our food. Our food, not yours. You know, I think your heart's made out of lead. Not a <laughs> I have a gift for you. What is it? What's that? A bounty. An official invoice. Oh! And Let me hear this. Business. Let's yeah, hear this. Anytime. Oh, I thought they were going to read it off. I want to know about this dead guy. No wonder he's a fatty. Enjoying the sweets. Hmm. 
I always do. Nothing to gain here at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except wait. I mean it. There's nothing on the line here. You know that kid on the blues harp the other day? His name's Wen. Giraffe was after the kid's so-called father, an old friend. Why was he after an old comrade? Ten years ago, they had a confrontation with some space raiders. A land dispute. A few days Property later, wars. the raiders are wiped out. Zebra's missing. And Giraffe is found blindfolded in a silo. Later, Zebra turns up in a wheelchair with the kid. So the bottom line is Giraffe was killed off over some internal politics. The trail may come easily to women, but men live by iron codes of honor. You believe Wow. Mm, here he goes. Time to ask some Whoever questions. Whoever's playing this harmonica is killing it. Who are you? Just some suspicious guy. What do you want here? Before Giraffe bought the farm, he asked <laughs> here to help. <laughs> I love it. Why would Giraffe ask him to help the kid? It doesn't make sense. Kid's Isn't the mastermind. Famous, huh? Yeah. Kid's a genius. Plays like an old pro. Hmm? That's because their Wait, bodies have been switched. This guy isn't zebra. What the hell? This was published 30 years ago. How can he have I the knew same it. Place? Yo, this Bruh. guy. Little twerp like you sticks his neck out too far. He'll get it cut off, understand? <laughs> Don't give me that crap, kid. I got trigger finger. Sorry, but I'm not a kid. You're Chucky. Mm -mm -mm. Sympathy for the devil, bruh. Because he's in a child's body. Backstory? No, you could play it, old boy. Something crashing. What's coming? The big bang. <gasps> Your parents took. Day on my body completely stopped aging. I can't die. The end for this guy started when his self defense volunteer squad hit our RD lab. Don't, don't leave him by, him. by the way, he looks. Zebra needs help. Wow. I think he's the third guy I've What a lost. twisted story. Where's the ring? What, what ring? ring? It just be a case it's a piece of, of asteroid. Girls wow! <laughs> oh has, uh, Yo, eloquent asshole. Eloquent. Watch him in his little suit. Ooh. Ooh, I'm a nice shot too. Ah! This no, asshole. this guy gave him up like that, bro. Oh, that's not so good. <gasps> oh! oh! Headshot! There's blood and he's gone. That's a lot of blood, though. That's a lot. How fast does it regenerate? Bro. Your big I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Since when you say sorry? Canadine. He's crying. The alpha catch. They're gonna communicate with him. Now, what do you make out of this? His last memory. A hotel this room. Is so cool. That's it. I have it now. This stone has the power to return time to you. Wow. Now over to me. Just follow the harmonica. When the gate like exploded, he's in a rooftop. a coordinate system was created. A kind oh, of singularity wow. that drew in vast amounts of energy, enclosing and crystallizing them into a single faceted stone. The same energy broke wind's circadian rhythm. His pineal body continually produces a substance like melatonin that inhibits aging. 
Bruh, and that's that the, was, let me hear that again. Babe, that was crazy. That's the secret to youth. <laughs> Which simply means there's no way to know for sure until we stick the gem into the kid and find out. Into the kid. It could blow sky high the moment it hits. Kind of makes it interesting. And dangerous. He loves that type of word. I just thought I'd say goodbye, Spy, since I'm sure it's the last time I'll be seeing you. Well, <laughs> you mean you're finally leaving us? Oh, <laughs> they are worried, boy. You're going out to fight an immortal being. Like, you're better off fighting Thor. The youth you hail in the cab. Where the money at? Oh! Mm -hmm. Okay, just a throw fight. Just a yo, ruthless. Happy, bruh. Ruthless. Oh, here he is. comes. I gotta hit him with that bullet. Oh, into a gas station. That's crazy. Anybody else would have been over with. I see you. Not this fucking kid. Undisturbed. Undisturbed. Let's go. It's the one on one. Oh, oh shit! Oh, yo! Pray. One shot, one kill. Pray, dog. Uh, pray. <gasps> oh! You're gonna turn into bones, no? You're like mad or oh, oh sad. That's that Michael Jackson thriller place. That's crazy. <laughs> Bruh. It Bruh. Is. Yes, I can finally die at last. Wow. The peace. He has peace. You understand. He kinda looks like E.T. with hair. <laughs> it's true. You can play. I know you could play. Maybe not. <laughs> oh my god. Ping, ping. Where's your trigger hand? Quick draw. Bang. Mm. Subdued bang. Wow. Oh, that was wow. a man. Shit. That was that was that was, the stakes were higher than we've ever seen them for sure. Right. You know what I'm saying? A mortal being like though 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 we don't usually don't fare too well in them kind of battles. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that was crazy. That was great. That was great. That was great. How do girl eat the dog's food like? But you have to work to eat. And what kind of work she so been you, doing? So you realize now she's the real bitch. <laughs> You can't be eating my fancy feast. <laughs> Bro. Drink. Bro, that was crazy. Like, me, I'm like, I thought she was going to, like, give him a nugget and then, like, and then, like, while he's eating, like, kind of steal a little bit from him. Yo, she went in and not only that, she's talking about how refined and classy she is and then... Scarfing down the dog scarfing food. Scarfing down the dog food. <laughs> Bruh. Scarfing dog, the dog's chow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man. That story, that story was wild, though. How, the, like, those solar gate exploding are not only charcoaled his family, but then it gave him the power to unage. So he was literally stuck as that little... The thing is, what's so funny is that you're kind of, you're kind of emotionally in limbo in the first place because of the fact that you don't have the... the your North timeline. and South Pole... Your north and south pole from your mother and father who are helping you as you go along with information that would help you as you grow old. Big flare. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it cat now? I like how they do that. Everything Did he turn on a heavy metal? <laughs> <That's so hard. laughs> Man, you were saying about um, 
his north and south, his parents. Yeah, that's it. You don't even have those things to, to bounce off you because the thing is, because your parents have experienced, because naturally your parents being older than you, they've experienced almost every level of what you've experienced just in a more general fashion. You know, obviously our parents didn't grow up with social media, but they know about the pressures of peer pressure, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. Right. So like him not having that at all, it's kind of like even emotionally, he was stuck as a child anyway. You know what I'm saying? So his physical just kind of represented his mental kind of. You know what right. I'm saying? Because he, like, at that point, like, when the when the sun and the water stops flowering, when the sun and the water stops hitting the soil, the flower doesn't grow anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, boom, he was stuck in that mode and it was almost like he was frozen in time. And now he can finally die. Like, I felt, I was kind of happy for him at the end. Yeah. when Because when, the thing is, you saw, like, Yes, he was this diabolical mastermind of a Chucky doll, like a like a Chucky child. But in the end, he was just an old man stuck in a an old man stuck in a child's body. Whereas we know some old men, we we know some old men that are just children stuck in an old man's body. You know what I'm saying? So like that was crazy that he lived out his life just like that. And the thing is, with all the vitriol and angst that he must have felt after losing his parents in such a like it was a cosmic accident, like, like, and the thing is, who knows if there's any survivors in that surrounding area. So like he could have woken up one day and been the only guy left in that country. You know what I'm saying? So like, of course you feel like the whole world's turned on you. So what do you do? You turn on the whole world, right? And then, man, Jesus, yeah, that I'm was incredible. For the kid now. Oh. Got to grow old and That's die right. within five seconds. Man. That's right. Man, sad episode. It was, sad. It, was, it, was it was a great it was a great episode because they faced they faced a greater enemy than they've ever faced. But it was also how they went about solving it using their like um it almost felt like the heart went over the mind in that case, you know what I'm saying? Because of like obviously he's he's murdering people. So he's gone he's gone cold, but nah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I wish I had a better description of it, but it was a great it was a great Cowboy Bebop episode. And we can't wait to get on to our next destination. So Thank you all for joining us for this latest episode of Cowboy Bebop. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out our full-length uncut reaction. Or stop by simply support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake. For Beauty and the Beard, we're signing off until the next one. Peace.